You know what discs hate? Repetitive bending and repetitive sitting. <coughs> hate repetitive sitting and hate repetitive bending. What do you mean repetitive sitting? Yeah. If you sit still, guess what? This disc, so a disc. Oh, I see. So I've got the bow and I'll draw it out this time. Mm -hmm. Those are your vertebrae. That is your sacrum. Yes. Okay, the triangle one. In between here, there's discs. They're like jelly donuts. Okay? In that jelly donut, there's the fluid. When I squish that donut, that jelly can shoot out. Who's, heard, who, who's experienced that in their body before? Okay. A slip disc? A slip disc, okay. yes. So that fluid in the disc can slip out, and if it puts pressure on the nerve, your leg won't work, your bowels might not work. Okay? It's very painful, and it'll completely disable you. Yeah, it'll hit that side of nerve too. Okay? Sitting still really bothers it because this needs to move to get uh, to get fluids. If you do not move, it does not get any clean fluids. So if you sit still, like the posture that you showed us before, and you sit still, like this, that disc is stuck with bad, ugly jelly. You're not getting any new jelly in there. So how do we minimize this bad jelly in that spine? Movement. Movement. The more movement we have through our posture throughout the day, the more often we stand up and sit down, the less uh, injury will come to that disc. Even though it's slipped. Like. Oh yeah. If you've ever had this slip before, you got to do all you can in the world to keep this as strong as possible, or else it's that uh, cruise ship to the nursing home too. Yes. What's the, um, I guess the, the most amount of time that you can sit still before you really start to see the damage? Yeah. I do find I sit like, like put it in a time frame for me, so I can Who has kids? To get up. <laughs> yeah. Who has kids? How long can they sit still? No, 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 no. We learn how to sit still in school. Yes. We're taught yeah. to sit still and not move, not fidget, and stop moving around. Ideally, you learn from your kids. They innately, they intuitively, that's what they're born with wanting to do. Keep moving around. You got to keep moving. So do we have to do this like every half hour at the minimum? If you can do it every five, ten minutes, yeah. if you can keep moving around more, it'll be better for you. Sometimes, exactly, sometimes the jobs can, can, can mm -hmm. take that away. So we have to know how to ways on how to minimize the impact of stress on the body. Chiropractic is one of those ways on where we'll make sure these discs are moving as well as possible when you see us. Okay? Movement and walking is great. Dancing is great too. But if you're stuck sitting all day, you better try and keep it shifting and moving. So you can shift in the chair or something? You can shift in the chair. <laughs> You can have a, a chair that's not comfortable, will cause you to keep moving around all day. Okay? Who's, who's seen those balls, uh, those exercise balls? Some people do sit on those. It's not comfortable, but it causes you to move all day. Movement all day is better than the comfort of sitting still all day. It will be harder. It won't be easier. All this stuff I'm teaching you isn't easier. Okay, but it's better for you to live a longer, more active career. Okay, that's that's the tough thing to grasp. And there is much easier ways to live, but taking care of the spine, taking care of the nerve system, taking care of your brain is much much takes effort. You got to try and stay healthy. Definitely.